I thought I'd just do a quick video here about uh, Delorto carburetors. So I have a Motor Marini, which if you've never looked it up, um, I'd never heard of the thing before I bought it, but uh, Italian motorcycle, the one I have is an 86, and it has Delorto PHBH 30 carburetors on it, um, which was a US spec. The uh, rest of the world got PHBH 28s, the difference being the 28s have a two millimeter smaller bore. And when it comes to carburetors, you really kind of want the smallest carburetor you can that can support the horsepower you need. Um, I think the Americans one got, one's got these 30 millimeter carbs because of emissions reasons. Um, at least that's the story that I read. But all that to be said, um, I've, I got a set of PHBH 28s uh, that I'm going through and rebuilding. I actually bought three, which is good because it seems like only two of them are going to be usable, uh, or rather from the three I can make two good ones. So I thought I'd show how the different parts on this carburetor work because if you're used to American carburetors, uh, this is pretty different. So it's closer to what you find on a SU, uh, perhaps, but um, it, it's really a pretty simple design. This is the bad housing that I don't think is going to be reusable. Um, it cleaned up a whole lot, but uh, it seems like some of the passages are blocked. But so I'll kind of just go through how this works here. So the fuel comes into here. This is the inlet port, and there's a screen that normally goes in here uh, on this carb. It was empty, so that's... Uh, an interesting one. So from the screen comes through and goes through here and this is where you've got the float. Um, you have the floats in here in the carb bowl which will then go up and close the valve uh, to get the correct amount of fuel in the carb, in the carb bowl. You then have uh, three circuits. You've got um, your idle circuit or uh, prime jet, I think is what they call it. You got your main jet, goes in, and then you've got the choke. So if you take a look, and I've got this one partially disassembled, so the choke or idle enrichment is really the, uh, a more accurate way to put it because it doesn't choke the carb um, to get more fuel in. What it does is, on this one it's a manual valve, but you can see it's got this basically block off brass part and when you flip it up, it pulls it up. And what that does is then essentially open up this port here. Now air is flowing through can see better on this one. Air is flowing in this direction, so essentially opens up that port and see that it comes back, comes through on this side. So essentially what it does, this is for starting uh, and cold, cold start enrichment, is that by opening up this port here, going through, coming out here, letting airflow go through there, that's gonna pull up some extra fuel to help with starting. Now, and, and cold start and warm up. So now you got your um, primer jet or idle jet, depending on what you want to call it. And so that would be, let's see, basically this guy, which just screws in to there. I'm not going to screw him in because I'm not going to rebuild this. And so you can see a couple of things here. So this is the idle adjustment screw. When you look on here, the idle adjustment screw, basically, I'll just take this one out here so that you can see. There's a spring on it, but you can see it goes into this passage and essentially blocks off fuel that comes in, gets sucked in through this jet Remember, air is going this way. So, it goes through this jet, through there, and then you can't really see it, 
but there is a little hole in the carburetor kind of where I'm pointing and that is where fuel gets sucked in for idle and if you take a look on here I guess maybe it's a little bit further forward I guess this one's cleaner and you can maybe see it a little bit better uh, or no wait no, this is a vacuum port on there anyway it exists so then you've got the main circuit so the main jet goes in through there and what you actually have is on this carb you can see better on here so the bowl and the phbh 30 is on my motorcycle are a little different but the bowl is held on by this that has and this is the main jet so you just take can just take the main jet out and so you can see here so there's the uh, cold enrichment um, that's the cold enrichment jet there's your primer jet and then this has the main jet basically screws into there so then you have your meat your needle which do I have that conveniently out no, I guess I do okay there so now your throttle pulls this up and this needle if you look carefully you can see is tapered and so it when it goes in properly and I don't want to force it because I don't want to break bend anything because this is the carb I want to reuse goes into here basically blocks fuel flow and so as you raise as you increase the throttle you increase the airflow and you are also then decreasing the blockage that you have for the fuel coming through that main jet so unlike say a holly or a lot of other car carbs that you see on american cars there's no uh there's no real concept of a power valve or a an accelerator pump or anything like that it's um, really a pretty simple system and I'm not going to tell you how to adjust it or anything like that because I'm, I'm by no means an expert on it. Um, but I just thought it would help to uh, maybe help somebody to get to see how this exactly is, how this carburetor style works. Um, it's really pretty neat, pretty simple. And uh, I am hoping that I can rebuild these carbs and then maybe get a little bit better um, drivability out of the, my Moto Marini can see there's the p8 one of the phbh 30s to a slightly different style uh, this bowl is held on by that um, but the problem that i'm having is that at around 4,000 rpm there's basically a hole in the fueling which is a very common issue on these motorcycles um, especially on the american side so i'm gonna rebuild these carbs swap them on and uh, hopefully that'll improve things Hope you found this useful, um, and thanks for watching.